listening to Frey. Starting right now. Here's your host Alfredo Leo. Back Ella and the New York Giants have selected running back Saquon Barkley with the second overall pick out of Penn State in the NFL Draft. Barkley is the highest selected running back since Reggie Bush in 2006 when he was drafted, Bush that is, second by the New Orleans Saints. As he is an incredible talent in the open field, Barkley will immediately take reps as the first team running back and should provide the Giants with an outstanding pass catcher coming out of the backfield. Barkley's combination of size, speed, size, power, and field vision had many analysts rating him as the highest as running back prospect to enter the league in a generation. The best. Paired with Odell Beckham Jr., Evan Engram, and Sterling Shepard, Barkley figures to be a key factor on a resurgent Giants team. Barkley is six foot, a junior, and 233 pounds at the time of getting drafted by the Giants. He spoke about what it will be like to play with Becca, Eli Manning, and others, courtesy of the NFL Network. Yeah, uh, those guys are definitely talented players, and uh, I gotta step, I gotta step up my my level of play uh, early and often when I get there. But uh, I'm just excited to be able to get uh, get to the New York Giants and get to that team and be able to surround myself with those players and definitely pick those guys' brains, especially guys like Eli, uh, who's been playing the NFL for over 15 years, and uh, try to expand my knowledge of the game as much as I can. Here are his strengths. He has a rare blend of size, speed, and power. He also has exceptional agility and is able to consistently make defenders miss both at the line of scrimmage and on the second level. Barkley is explosive and a constant home run threat as a runner, receiver, and, and returner. He's got solid receiving skills and is smooth, a smooth runner, route runner with significant room to develop. He's also a willing pass protector and shows solid strength a technique when dealing with blitzing defenders. He never has to leave the field. His weaknesses include a tendency to try to do too much in the backfield. He will need to learn to be more decisive against NFL caliber athletes. Barkley too often bounces runs to the outside looking for game breaking plays when solid yards are available. His playing style lacks physicality and aggressiveness. Barkley also spoke about what he would bring to the locker room. I think that's very important, uh, especially a chemistry and a bond for a team. Uh, I think that can take you a lot of places, and uh, that's something that I learned. I've I, I seen the, the difference in the shift of the locker room from my freshman year at Penn State to my sophomore and junior year and see the, the difference in the win columns and uh, the difference in the team success. And uh, with me, that, that, that's something that I believe in, and that's a, you're going to get a guy who's passionate about the game of, the, the game of football, who loves the game of football, who's a true competitor, and uh, just to, uh, try to be a, the best teammate I possibly could be, whether that's on and off the field, uh, uh, obviously, I'm a young young player, but uh, if anyone need to talk to me, bounce knowledge off my head, uh, be able to learn from them, and uh, try to try to get as quickly as possible learn the game, so I can try to give feedback. This is a good pick by the Giants, especially they needed a a player to try to get to to help them with their team, especially with a terrible year they had last year. And I think Barkley's a pretty good pick as he's going to help out the Giants offensively, as their running game hasn't been that great in the last couple of years. I think Barkley's going to help out with that especially because the, the Giants have been in the middle or the bottom of the league in rushing as they've had that struggle even when they won their last Super Bowl. The running attack is, hasn't been that great for the most part. And they needed a good running back. And Barkley, you, you can't pass him up. I think what the Giants did was just to take the best player available. Even though maybe that may not be the right choice, I think this is a good choice because they needed a running back and they probably just wanted the best player available in the draft. And Barkley's going to be a big star, and he's a can't-miss prospect, and the Giants wanted to get him, and they did. And it's amazing how running back has been drafted that high. It hadn't been that high since Bush, and that's crazy to believe. But the Giants didn't want to draft a quarterback because maybe they could just draft one later. And they could think, oh, they don't need a first-round pick. They still got Eli Manning, and Eli's still got a couple years left behind the center as a quarterback. So I think he's still pretty good. And Barkley... That's a good pick, and he's a big runner. Also, he's back home. He's from the Bronx, and he's going to really help out the Giants of running attack because they need to be able to address that a lot more, and he's going to really help with that. And he had a great year last year at Penn State, be able to rush all those yards at 18 touchdowns and over 1,300 yards almost with Penn State, and he's going to really help them, especially. Even though they didn't get a quarterback, they didn't get Baker Mayfield or Sam Darnold or Josh Rosen or Allen, but they, they got Barkley. Even though the, the Jets, the local team, the New York Jets wound up getting Sam Darnold and the Cleveland Browns wound up getting Baker Mayfield as the first pick. But 
The Giants, they just made, went with best player available, in my opinion. I think that's the case. I think that's what Dave Gettleman, the GM, did. And I think this is a good choice because a quarterback could be found in the second round or third round. And I think that's what the Giants will do in the second round of the draft or later if they get a quarterback. And obviously they got to address their offensive line as well, which they did with a tackle. But they need to try to address that offensive line more. And with Markley, he's going to help out with that a little bit. He could definitely block and do some stuff like that. But the offensive line is the most important thing. But Markley, he's a campus prospect. He's going to be a star. He's got so much agility. He's got a lot of power, like I said. And he's just a fast runner. I, I hold just to the NFL environment. And he's back in New York where he's from. So this is a good thing for him and the Giants. And I think this is a good pick, like I said. Even though some other people may disagree that they should have taken a quarterback. Well... There was people that predicted that he would get uh, the go to the Giants, and that must be pretty sweet for him to be able to go home and be back in New York and not have to go too far. So that's a good thing for him. But this good pick by the Giants, like I said, sure they could have taken a quarterback, but they probably went for the best player available. They still have faith in Eli, as I do as well, because Eli's still a good quarterback. And I think he's going to really, Barkley, that is, help Eli, and Eli's going to have another weapon alongside Beckham and Shepard to help out that offense as they need to get more weapons which they've already addressed with Barkley but they people are talking about them getting Des Bryant and all that but I don't know if they need them because they already have Shepard and Beckham but they got a weapon that could catch out of the backfield like like uh, be able to get like Barkley so I think Barkley will help out with that and this is a good pick and we'll see what the Giants do with him and see how much of an impact he can make with the team but I think this is a good pick and he's going to be an incredible player and I think the Giants just went for the best player available and good move out of them kudos to them they'll get that quarterback later in the draft most likely and they'll get more players to hopefully help their offensive line and defense and all that stuff so good move out of the Giants credit to them for getting Barkley Barkley's going to be an incredible player anyway so hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like if you're a brand new subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video Peace.